Welcome to this short training video on using SEN SEO, a front-end analysis tool to determine the SEO values on a page. SEN SEO analyzes web pages and tells you how good they fulfill an on-page search engine optimization. Basically, it gives you an overview of the SEO important web page components, allows you to do a deep analysis of all the on-page SEO criteria, and then my favorite part allows you to compare two pages and their relative scores. So for example, if your number one competitor is ranking a little better than you, you can do a side-by-side -side comparison of your page and theirs and determine what they're doing wrong and do that part better. Syn SEO is an add-on specific to the Firefox browser. It can be found at this address and you should see this in the OneNote notebook that you're in. You will need to install it before being able to use it. It is bootstrapped so you will not have to restart Firefox once you install. Simply click the Add to Firefox button, allow the installation, and it will place a new icon right over here for Sen SEO. You can get more information about Sen SEO from the sensational-seo.com website. There's some good videos, some good criteria, some good information out here. So first let's cover the SEO important web page components. In order to display the overview of the SEO important web page components, I'm going to use an actual web page. This is Dream Limousines Detroit, and we are using uh, a specific keyword for this, and that's what I'm going to do the analysis on. So in order to determine what the keyword is, and you'll know this because you're putting the content together, I'm going to jump over to the edit page, and I'm going to take a look at the focus keyword that we're trying to optimize for. Now you'll notice that I'm in Yoast and the keyword is limo rental. So on the page where that keyword is being used I'm going to click on the magnifying glass and from here place the focus keyword or the keyword that I'm trying to rank for in here. Now I'm going to inspect the components, which is this second button, and that's going to tell me where within this page this focus keyword appears. And you'll see it in green right here. So it appears in the title tag. It appears, or here's the title tag length, which, as you know, Google says they're only looking at the first 65 characters. So as you'll notice in the one notebook, I did place. Uh, Inform additional information about the title tag and, and why it's relevant and why it's important uh, there. Um, here's the focus keyword being used in the meta description. So these are all of the components that can be found on this web page. Um, to find, for example, this second H2 heading, you simply click the highlight button and it'll scroll you to where that appears with on the page. About us. Now you've got a number, you've got two H1 tags, which may confuse Google. Um, there should be one and only one H1 tag on any given page. There can be multiples of H2, H3, H4, all the way up to H6, but there should only be one H1, and that may be dinging our SEO a little bit. Okay, to continue with the components, you can also see things like the alt tags or alt text rather for the images now this is an opportunity for us to without keyword stuffing place the additional keyword within the images so for example this image right here does contain the alt text limousine and party bus rental Detroit Michigan limo rental dream limousines Okay, which is a little bit long and kind of violates what Google says is a good practice here, but it's at least an alt text. Now all of these that say NA, these are not. They, there's no alt text here. Once it's highlighted, you can use, uh, I use Firefox, uh, Firebug rather, to go in and tell me, for example, on this one, 
see there's no alt text in here. Now if I were to you know go and put the alt text in and save the page you would want to come back out and do your analysis a second time. Uh, so it's just keeping there. So this will tell you places, opportunities where you can add additional um, elements to increase your on-page optimization. How many links are on the page, how many images don't have an alt text, uh, your, your conical URL, your domain age, your response headers, these, these are all the components that can be found. So for example, um, it's looking for a Facebook like button and this one doesn't have one so this is an opportunity for us to get a little more social place a Facebook like button somewhere on the page there's no Twitter button there's no Google Plus button either so this is the body text and it highlights every time that word appears and it will give you an overall keyword density and the number of time the keyword matches the focus keyword that was added here. So the components area is a good place to see what's on the page and what's being done right and what's being done wrong. Now let's look at an analysis of on-page SEO criteria. To take a look at the analysis you want to click on the inspect SEO criteria button. Now just like Yoast it looks at a number of factors and gives you a grade on those factors where you're doing things right you'll get a green where it could use improvement but it's not terribly wrong it's amber and where things really need to be addressed it's red so for example in this case it says the length of the title tag should not be greater than 65 characters so this is definitely an opportunity for us to improve the, L the page grade uh, on this particular page the title contains more than 15 words, which is another opportunity for us to improve. Now, these two are tied hand in hand, and if you look right here, this is the title text that's being used, and to Google, this looks like keyword stuffing. So if we make an improvement here, our score, our overall score will improve. Now, I know you know this. This I, I, I don't mean to be teaching you SEO. I, I really, what I'm trying to teach you is how to use Send SEO, uh, but I'm just you know throwing a few ideas out there. So one of the nice elements about the Inspect criteria is it does group it. It groups it by title tag, meta description, robots, sitemap, headings, and page content. There's also information on domain and path which are more about uh, the URL. So that's the SEO, the on-page analysis, and the overall grade. And again, although there are some variances between this and Yoast, as a rule, they're pretty much in line. So, you know, if you're if you're improving here on Sin SEO, if Yoast or if and when Yoast does um, actually is able to read the TCB content, the Thrive Content Builder content, um, I believe we'll find that the grades are very much in line. There'll be just slight variances. Let's do a comparison of two web pages from an SEO analysis point of view. So to actually do the comparison of two different web pages, I'm going to use a live example. So I've come to Google and I've searched for Limo Rental Detroit, Michigan. And I see that past the local listings, Dream Limousine is listed as is, uh, here, sorry, Luxury Limousine Dearborn. So this is their closest competitor. And since we're looking for um, that specific key phrase, I'm going to use this page and this page. So let's move this over because this is the one we were working on. We're going to actually work now on this one. Let's make this a bit bigger. Okay, so this is the page we're, in, we're analyzing. This is the key term we're analyzing for. Let me grab that again. Put that right here. So on the main page, let's see, actually I'm going to do it with a competitor first because uh, I know the way it's going to display the um, the comparison and I want uh, the, the page I'm optimizing to be on top. So go to your competitor first, go to Send SEO, replace this with the keyword you're trying to optimize for, do inspect criteria, and then do a save. 
Now come to the second page, the, the one you're trying to optimize for. Open Sin SEO. Let the inspect come together and then click this little light bulb. Now what it's going to do is take this page and compare it to this page which will appear underneath. So in this particular case, the use title tag correctly, they're doing it a little bit better than we are. So their title tag contains no more than 15 words. And if we look right here in hover, we can see that. Less than 15 words. So our comparison then gives us an opportunity to see what they're doing right. And if we just change that, even if we didn't change the thing above it, we would our score would improve and we would retain the better listing. So on this one, the meta description, we're doing this better than they are, although there is room for improvement. So just go down side by side to see, you know, what we're doing better than they are. Keep doing that. What we're not doing as well, make those changes and then uh, and this this works particularly well if the site you're comparing to is a competitor that is doing better than you are. So I hope that this short video uh, helps you understand Sin SEO. I will put together a short intro video to introduce why we want to know if this can be used um, and if this is something that you can incorporate into your workflow. Uh, feel free to reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm here to help.